All right. Hello, everybody. Mike Rains here with Remax Terra Soul, um, helping people buy and sell residential real estate property here in the Orange County market. And today I wanted to be able to share with you a little bit of what's going on in the Orange County market. Um, I'm going to do so by uh, sharing my screen and showing you kind of a little bit of a, an outline as to what's happening here. It's it's crazy as to say the the least of what I could be able to share uh, regarding what's happening in the real estate market here in Orange County. So I'm going to share this with you right now and um, and just kind of share with you what's what's kind of happening uh, with, with our market. So right now, um, when we look at what's happening out there, the, the market is so low of inventory, it, it's not even funny. Um, and, and I'm not even trying to be funny, but it's, it's like one of those things where, where we're so low in inventory that you have probably, I don't know, 30, 30 buyers chasing one property in some cases. So when, when a property is priced uh, really well, you're able to have a lot of people who are looking for property, including buyers that I work with, out there in the marketplace the, uh, for a property that fits their needs and is in the area they want, it's in the price range that they want, and they're all chasing the same property. I just recently had a client make an offer on a property that was completely original and needing lots of work, uh, but you know it's nice location and so forth, priced at around $800,000 uh, in the Costa Mesa area. And I knew there was going to be a lot of offers and stuff. So I was prepping my buyer, hey, we're going to have to be, you know, somewhere right around 900000 which is 100000 over their asking price for a very small three-bedroom house uh, that needs a ton of work. And it fits for them because he's a contractor. He's able to do the work on these things. So for them, going up in price was a natural fit for them. Uh, we made our offer, but we didn't even get, uh, and I know the agent, so we didn't get a call back on that because they got 45 offers in the first weekend, and it went over a million dollars uh, with an all-cash buyer that that waived all the contingencies to close in a very short period of time since it's vacant. So what I want to do is I want to show you what the current inventory is and why over this this last four years we've seen just such a dramatic amount here. So I want to just be able to show you um, right here, the current inventory that we have today. I looked it up this morning. There's 1,201 homes available in all of Orange County, California. That includes condos, townhomes, and includes single family houses. And that's in all of Orange County. Just to give a frame of reference on that, the three-year average is 4,843 homes. And that's still kind of low. Um, in, in the inventory, but it, you'll see on the next slide, it'll have some, some, uh, some be able to get a five-year history picture of that. Pre-pandemic, the average was 48, 43 over those three years from 2017 through 2019. And by the way, I looked up homes that are listed as coming soon, including one that I have coming soon. Um, it's 188 in all of Orange County. So that just tells you there's only 188 homes coming that we know about. And those are in the next couple of weeks on that. So this next slide kind of helps us to see this, this is a five year uh, average, you see 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, the last four years. And here's where we are today, right here. And this is the active. So that's that 1,201 homes. Uh, and then you see 2021 right here. And, and notice the how the market came out. So this is the beginning in January. It came out flat and then it started dropping all the way through really to the low point here, which is normally, if you look above that, that's normally pretty close to where it starts peaking. Uh, but it was very different last year because we had a pent up demand from 2020 during the pandemic. People wanted to get out. They were under the lockdowns and now they came out to the market. So this, this inventory came down a little low and then it started going up a little bit before it normally starts dropping off towards the end of the year. It peaked here really about August and that's in line with with at least on 2019 on that. But these are the other years. So this is 2019, this is uh, 2020, we've got 2019, uh, 2021, and then here we are at 2022. And this will probably peak up a little bit here and then it'll flatten out just like these other years. And then it'll go back down at the end of the year. On the other hand, this other slide shows where the demand is. And you can see right here, this is where we are. It's, it's more homes uh, in demand 
then there are properties over here for sale. So that's what we're looking at. We have more people that want to buy than we have property to sell. And you can see this, this right here is the 2020 where we were hot and heavy off and then boom, just fell off the face of the earth. Uh, and that was during that lockdown period from really end of March going through and then right about the middle of April uh, coming into May, we came out of that lockdown and then boom, started going up real quick. And that's how the, the year went. And so, and then and it peaked out over here, well above the other averages, even in 2022. So we had so many people trying to buy. Then when you look back in here, what the inventory it was. So we were selling homes so quickly. This next slide really kind of says the picture. So you see the price ranges being broken down here from zero to 750, 750 to a million, all the way up to 8 million properties or $8 million worth properties. The expected market times, the speed of the market, the share of the inventory housing as a percentage, the share of the current demand, and then what it was last year. So the expected market time here from zero to 750, 18 days, you can see the hottest segment right here, 750 to a million and a million to a million 25 with our average sales price in Orange County approaching a million dollars. This is where all the homes are. Um, that, that's selling super fast in this market. All of them are, but that's even more fast. The share of the inventory, you can see most of the homes are listed under a million dollars. So you have, what, 44% here of the entire amount of inventory that's available appear in these two. Look at the other one, though. Down here in the two to four million dollar range, that's actually where 15% of the inventory lies. And so luxury property is going really quick. It's also 10% of the demand. So there's a little bit more inventory than there is in the demand, uh, but crazily, you look at the lower parts, there's more demand, 31%, 26%, that's 57%, more than what the inventory is available in that price point. So last year in comparison, luxury properties, 77 days for that four to 8 million, 34 days for two to 4 million, and it was 60 days before. And just to give you a, a reference point, 180 days is like the even point. So if it's taking longer than 180 days to sell, that's considered a buyer's market. Anything under 180 days, you're getting into the, the seller's market. So when, when you see these numbers down here, to say that it's a red hot seller's market is like the understatement of the world. So that's, that's what we're looking at um, as far as our inventory goes. Um, if you know anybody that's thinking about selling, you, you need only price it properly and you're going to get so much attention in it that it's going to fly off the shelf. You'll get multiple offers. And that's where as agents, our skill set comes in where we can negotiate the best offer for you, terms, pricing. It's very, very uh, tempting in this market to try to elevate the price. And those are the, the only ones that are that are sitting on the market are those that are just so far out of whack that, that it's not a realistic and buyers just stay away from it. But if it's properly priced, you're going to get that number of offers that's going to yield you the best result. So that's that's what we're looking at on that. So I really appreciate you tuning in. Uh, if you know anybody, please, again, refer them over to me. Give Call me with your name and number, and, and I'll call them and just talk to them about what the market's doing, what I can do for them, and be able to use my experience for 20 years in, in helping them achieve the best result as possible. 